Today I'm going to show you how to crop a photo into a circle or any shape for that matter in Affinity Photo on the iPad. This is a very easy technique, it's a very quick technique but it's a very powerful one and can be used in lots of different situations. We're going to crop this photo into a circle, into a triangle, we're going to learn a wee bit about file formats to save it out as. So let's get into it. Here we are back inside a Thinly photo on the iPad and I have downloaded this brilliant photo from unsplash.com. The link to this photo is in the description below. Feel free to download it for free and follow along if you wish. This is a really nice photo and for today's purpose we want to make a circle and we'll maybe try a few other shapes with this photo too. Why might you want to do this? It might be for a for a CV or for social media or for a number, a number of things but we'll go to the shape layer on the left hand toolbar by default it's a square if we press it again we can go to the circle and by dragging right in the middle of this girl's face if we use one finger it'll keep the circle in proportion if we use two fingers it'll bring the circle from the center where we clicked and if we do three fingers holding down it'll drag it from the center keep it in proportion and let's see maybe about there so that's looking quite good or it's not looking quite good but the position of it's i'm happy enough so we're going to go to layer studio on the right hand side and we're simply going to click on our background layer and bring it up bring it up into the middle of this circle layer and there we have it. The tutorial is nearly over. This could be a short one. We'll do a few. We'll stay with us because there's a few more things we can do. But in essence, that's the whole tutorial. I'll go back just in case you missed it. We'll have our circle. We've got our background layer. And I've simply dragged the background layer to the middle of the circle. And that's more or less us. Now with this layer still selected, we can go into it. And what's absolutely brilliant is we can position this. We can make it bigger if I scale out a wee bit. We can make it a bit bigger. Maybe a bit bigger in this case is nice. And it's just personal preference. If I do two fingers to see what we had before. Yeah, that's really nice too. I don't know what to do here. We can even make the circle smaller. So if we click into this and by holding the finger, we can make the whole circle smaller and bigger and by two fingers we can do lots of mad stuff but I'm happy with the position of that I think I will make this photo just a little bit bigger just so the main focus is on our subject maybe get a wee bit of our hand so that's a, that's a really really nice photo and a really nice image and this would look great for like of a a fun loving CV type character or again there's there's many other locations we could use this photo in We'll go to the layer studio and we'll click on our circle layer and we'll click on the pen tool. The pen tool's highlighted and now if we want, we could make a bit of a border for this. So if we go to maybe say 50 pixels and okay, that looks quite nice. We can have a re hand tool so we can see how that looks. To me, black's too black on this. So if we go back to our pen tool, we can change it to white, and although you can't see it too well with the checkered background, that's really, really nice. What I might be tempted to is just to pick up on some of this, some of the, yeah, is it our cardigan or hoodie? I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe cardigan. And I think that's really, really, really nice. I would probably then crop it in. So just by going to the crop tool, We'll make it quite nice and tight. And then just hit apply and look at that. That is a really nice image. It was a nice image before, but it was great to have the circle. And I really like this color border. You don't have to have the border on it. Again, if you change your mind, you can go to the pen tool and just move the width to zero. And that's grand too. But by just making 50 pixels and picking up on the color of her top, I think this is really nice. And for the purposes of saving this out, we're going to go to the wee file icon here and down to export. And with many, many different export settings in Affinity Photo, for this I would choose PNG. The reason I would choose PNG is because if I go back out of that, you see this checkerboard? This checkerboard 
means it's transparent or it's see-through, it's clear, there's no information there. If we save this photo as a PNG, then that means we can bring this circle into any application, into, into a Word document, into a Pages document, into a Keynote presentation, and it's going to be a perfect circle. If we say, we'll use the wee file icon down to export, if we save it as a JPEG, a JPEG can't save transparent, it can't save clear backgrounds, so it's going to fill it in white. And let me just quickly show you that now. We just click OK, and we'll just save it there, OK. Oh, it's already there, so we'll keep both. And we will save it as the PNG. PNG is a good file format because it does save the transparency. It does make it clear, so we'll just save it in the same location. And now if we go into the Files app, you can see our two photos here. We'll click the first one. And by just tapping this photo on the iPad, it will show you a preview of it. So by tapping it, it looks white, but by actually tapping it, you'll see a real kind of preview, so to speak. And you can see it's all black. We didn't save it as black. That's, that means it's transparent. And if we go back, you can swipe or you can go back. It looks white, tap onto it and it's still white. This is the JPEG version, so you can swipe just to see. This is PNG, which means the background is completely clear, it's completely transparent. We're saving it as JPEG. No matter what you do, you will have this white border. If you're bringing it into a keynote presentation on, say, a, a blue background or a black background, this isn't going to look great. Whereas this, saved as a PNG, this will fit really, really well on the keynote presentation or in the Word document. And I'll maybe go back into the photo now again and just do a different shape to show you. It's, it's not just a circle you can do this in. And boom, just like that, magically the photo reappears. So if we go into the shape, what shape will we do this time? We'll not do square. Triangle could be quite interesting. Triangle could be very interesting. So we'll tap in our face and by holding, I'll put the pencil down. One, two, three. We'll bring it to about there. And it's already given us this black border. In the shapes video I recorded some time ago, you'll know you can't change the border or the stroke of the shapes in the shapes layer. You have to go into the pen tool. And oh, I clicked out of that by make sure you have it selected. Go into the pen tool and we'll just bring the stroke down. We'll go into our layers, we'll click on our background, just bring it up to the triangle. And there we have it. And that's looking that's looking quite cool too. It's quite different. There's something quite nice about the road and it going into the distance. And what I maybe will do again in this one, I'll maybe position her a wee bit more further up. Triangle is very nice. And you could even use this for a CV, who knows? It would be something just a wee bit different and a wee bit quirky, but certainly for presentations and different things like that, having photos inside the shapes, not just square or rectangle, just makes it a wee bit more interesting. And there we have it. We'll maybe just crop this in. This time we'll make no border. We'll bring it up. We'll bring it tight. and just apply. And there we have it. The only thing that's left to do now is to save it, export it as a PNG. Again, there's lots of other file types and we'll maybe look at these file types in other videos. But for the purposes of this, PNG's the best. 3.75 megabytes is a nice wee size. We'll save it into our Chrome folder. We'll keep both and we'll just go back into our folder there's our triangle. If we tap on it, completely transparent. And that's really nice. Triangle maybe arguably works just as nice as the circle. But I have to say, I do like the border on this one, but the triangle is quite nice. So you can do it in any shape. It doesn't need to be triangles or circles. It can be any of these shapes. But there you go. So there you have it. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, give it a like. Please subscribe as I bring out two or sometimes three videos each and every week. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.